Hey guys, we're back with some more raids today. Actually starting this video out with a base showcase. Check out this cliffside bunker. I don't know if you can call it a bunker at this size, but the dude has literally covered half of a cliff in walls. Now, as you guys know, the server did wipe, so we're starting from scratch. I would totally go for this if we weren't, but we need to make sure to get some profit today on the first day of the wipe so that we can be set up to raid bases like this. But this is definitely one of the targets. I just, I don't understand the build. I would definitely be throwing a lot of rockets at it, probably opening up a few of these sides. Anyways, we'll come back to this maybe if we get a jackpot on the first or second raid of today's video. But just had to shout this thing out. It's pretty freaking unique, and I don't really know how he built it. But yeah, we'll move on, and I'll take you guys to the first raid And once I found something I think is pretty profitable. All right, guys, I think we might have our first target here. Definitely a juicy looking base. It's just that we're going to have to find a way to do this for cheap. I mean, door path on this thing might be good. The window floor is also armored off too. A couple of these turrets are shut down. I'm wondering if we can get in there. That's a mini in the compound as well. Looks like that's the only turret that's actually running. So if we ladder in like over on that side, wondering if we can get in without having to kill any turrets. Definitely want to go for the door path on this one. Looks like the cheapest way, but let's see if we can get in the compound. I need to make a raid base and I'll be back with you guys. All right, here we go, dudes. Going to try to make this cheap as possible. I have 17 C4, 15 rockets. I did set a turret up to try to make sure we don't get countered. Probably not going to do too much, but maybe it can at least alert us if somebody is sneaking up. Now, let's see if we can ladder in over on this side. Wasn't able to look from afar, but we can kind of see this gap. Looks clear to ladder in, maybe? Yeah, it looks like we're just out of the range of any possible turrets. There we go. Laddered in for free. Now we just have to deal with that one turret that's turned on. Oh, this one's turning off and on too. Hopefully that thing doesn't fully turn on. Let's see if we can toss the C4 into that far turret that we saw from the raid tower. We don't even need to. Let's take the door. We don't even have to take that turret. Okay, wondering if there's going to be turrets inside the actual base. All right, armored door here, but it's going to the left. That's already going to start being more expensive because it's zigzagging. I don't want to drill through armor though, so we'll see where this leads. Okay, yeah, see, this is zigzagging around, bro. I don't even know if this is going to be enough C4. I'm going to try. We can possibly squeeze off three armored walls. Just going the three armored walls towards the core. This guy looks like a smart builder having his doors go all around the edge. Hoping that it's square honeycomb and not triangles. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're into a core. 64 left. Can we make this happen? Is there a door path on this? Refinery. Door's right there. And it is armored. We'll definitely go for that door path. 64 left. And we do have the rockets. Yo, there's a mini hovering around this raid. I'm hoping he doesn't come to counter. Okay. One of these bases. Oh, that mini's coming in right now. Okay, we're going to try to keep on sending rockets. I'm pretty sure that counter is going to be here any second, though. More armor doors. What was behind that? Nothing? Ooh, that's not nothing. It's a shotgun trap. Okay, we got boxes. I am looking for TC though, because this counter's right outside. What is he rocketing? Rocketing my turret, maybe? Yo, where's TC? Could TC be here in the back corner? Got gear sets, tons of gear sets in there.
Yes, that is TC. So we can check a door up now and try to defend. Okay, well, first right of the way, but we'd love to get lucky here, but we are going to have to defend even if we do get lucky. I'm not feeling too good about it. But all these boxes were empty other than the gear set so far. There we go. Organized AK box with LRs and L9s. That is a juicy looking comps box, guys. Can we get boom though? Oh, they're coming in. Yes, there's the boom. 16 C4, five rockets. Yo, I'm going to work on trying to get my own turret set up inside this dude's base. Can we get something from the TC? Oh my god, guys, that's over. It's like 150,000 sulfur. Wow. Buff clan, a massive freaking jackpot, exactly what we needed. So nervous about these guys coming in, though. Going to try to get some turrets crafted up. Oh my god, how many? I think there's like, there's literally like four of them. Holy crap, that was a massive hit marker. Wonder how many we killed. I don't think we're going to be getting this stuff out of here, though, guys. Yo, I think... Oh, there's one right in here. Yo, we've killed like six people. Can we get out of here? Oh my god, I'm just trying to be quiet. <laughs> Sitting here with 100 freaking thousand <laughs> soul for on me, guys. Yo, we could... Oh, I don't think we could take the mini out. No idea how we're going to make it out of here. Uh, I guess we just work on resetting up all these doors again and make them rocket back into here. Oh, here comes the C4. Yo, I've got this thing trapped up, guys. Check out the turrets and shotgun traps I've put up. I think we might be able to defend. All right, dudes. Well, I've been waiting here for like 10 minutes, and there's just a bunch of action going on outside, so I'm sure we're going to be fine. Everything has been repaired up. Got all the traps set up. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this raid here. I'll let you guys know if they ever do get in. I'm just tossing grenades. Like, what the heck? Anyway, see you guys at the next raid. That is the jackpot we needed as long as I can get out of here. Okay, dudes. Took a while. Those guys would not stop messing around with the base. Luckily, there were clans actually countering the clan that was countering me. But we did finally make it out of there with everything. And I started scouting for caves. This cave is armored and... Yeah. It has an auto turret. So I decided to risk it all for the biscuit. I've got C4 crafted up over 50 C4. I'm just going to send it and I have ensign rockets to cover my back. We'll send ensign rockets on this pathway. I need to figure out some way to deal with this turret. I'm thinking since it's a boltier and L9 turret, we can just bait it for the first shot, then toss the C4 on it and then start going for the cave base raid. But here we go. This is going to prove to be the really dumb, like we're going to lose everything or really smart and find a jackpot. First, let's deal with this turret. Oh, did we get it? Yeah, perfect toss yet again. Let's go, dude. So we'll start insetting the back off after we blast this wall. It was a bolty. Okay, we'll keep on going through here. We kind of got a wall for free or just for one C4. Here are more turrets in there, definitely. So we'll watch out for that. Okay, no turrets behind that wall. We'll start insetting it off since the C4s have gone off. And keep on drilling. Still no turrets yet. I definitely heard some. What do we got? We should be getting close. Is that a light? Yeah, 
Yeah, looks like a ceiling light. Okay. I mean, we need to go up. We'll keep on going back. There we go, that's a vending machine. Is it just gonna be used for a honeycomb or is that actual loot? Just need to keep this fire running behind me. Okay, we should be getting close. I see a garage door through that wall. Huh, looks like the vending machine is being used as honeycomb or something. I don't know, I don't wanna destroy it in case there's loot in there. But I think that's literally, I think we have to. If you take one of these armored floors or walls, it's gonna destroy it anyway. So we'll go for the vending machine. Hopefully this wasn't juiced up. Yeah, just praying that wasn't all of their loot. There's a turret. Okay. Let's see, gear sets. Wow, all the doors are open. Let's go, that's a turret? Yo, this looks like main loot up here on the top. Go to send one more instant rocket, then we'll check out that turret, see if there's any way we can take it down. Oh. I think there was two of them, maybe. One at a time. Can we get TC in here? No TC. Come on, show me some boom. There's Explo ammo. And that's a counter coming down the cave. Let's keep that fire running. Wondering if this could be TC in the armored double door. Oh, there's sulfur up here, guys. Didn't get to check this box yet, but 45,000 sulfur? I don't know why it's not in the TC. Let's check where that double armored door goes. Oh my god. Almost just got killed. So, time is of the essence. I'm gonna take this door with C4 instead of this garage door. Dropbox. No TC. That looks like it could be TC. It's a weird hard side wall. Never mind. I'm gonna send a regular rocket, try to kill this guy. Woo. I think we got him. Now we'll keep the fires going. So I was looking at this weird hard side wall right here. It's next to the bed and over here on this side, we don't see the other side of it. So I'm going to go for this with what we have left. Yes, it is TC. Let's go, dudes. Finally, we can start getting this thing sealed off. Can we get armored from it? Oh, literally, that's all we can get. So the sulfur was all in the box. He didn't have any extra in the TC. All right. Well. Time to start holding this right down. Apparently today we're going to be getting a lot of action. All right, all sealed up in here with armored. Got a door up and now just playing the waiting game. And if they do make it through here, we have a great angle to shoot at that door. I think we'll be good on this one. I'm gonna call it here, guys, and I will come back and let you know if they start blasting and I'll show you guys what happens. But I'll see you guys at the next raid or whenever these guys start blasting in, if they ever do. All right, dudes, well, the first two raids were massive successes so far. This wipe two back-to-back -back jackpots, and now the cave wasn't as big of a jackpot because we used a lot to raid it. But anyways, this is probably going to be the final raid of the video. We're trying to keep it a little bit more tame so we don't get unlucky and lose all of our stuff there's a raid going on over there anyways heli's out this is a two by one sealed off like bunker style base i mean usually they're just one by one honeycomb like a tc so i don't think i've ever seen one like this before but we've got enough to do exactly two armored walls so there's no way we can't raid this thing let's go ahead and send it i was waiting for that heli to go away but apparently it's not going to okay tc Sofa? Everything? Hell, he's right above me. It's a freaking node in his base. Yo, this doesn't look promising, though, at all. Why does he have a sofa? Come on. Alright, it's 
Is that profit? I don't think that's profit. It's just barely not breaking even. Let's see if there's anything in this small box behind me. Aw, oh, bro. Two by one. Wow. Nice bag name. It was a meme. Could kind of tell with the sofa. But anyways, yeah, I think I'm going to call the video there, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We definitely got set up for the rest of Wipe on that first raid. 150,000 plus sulfur. I'm glad we could defend against three counters at once. Anyways, I'll see you guys in some more raids tomorrow. Make sure to get subbed and wish me luck.